Well, welcome to Berlin's O2 Arena. Today we're gonna be using L Acoustics, starting with 12k1 per side as our mains, then 8k2 per side as outfills. Subs will be 9k as 28s per side, and front fills with 8 kara. Driving all the system with 5 LA racks per side. And as always, the Sound Vision file is available for download as well as the LA network layout. And here's a fun overview of the entire system. Let's go to the LA network and start by doing the system sound check. Great! Everything is in place and we're ready to start a calibration. First, let's choose the mic position. We will start by taking the middle of the array. Easy road trick here will be to walk backwards and just look for the air spacing in between the 5th and the 6th or to the 7th cabinet and then that would be approximately our middle of the array spot. Open smart and turn on the pink noise and adjust the loopback gain. Switching to the LA network and unmuting all the right side tops. Remember to set the output level of the pink noise around our show average SPL target. Now we can adjust the mic gain level. Hit Find, Insert and Capture. But as you can see, our trace with the mic gain set correctly is not sitting nicely on the 0dB reference line. Here comes handy the use of the measurement offset. Just by dragging the trace up or down we can set an offset to our help. Now recapture. Let's start with our first picking frequency. 10.9k with a 6dB increase. It's better if we recapture and call it TOPS 6dB offset. We can delete the unnecessary stores and stop the pink noise for now. Going to the Tops Group EQ tab and setting our first filter 10900, minus 6 dB and QF5 and check the change. Next we see dips that we suspect there are just com filtering issues. We can see the disturbed phase line surrounding that frequencies. We'll leave them be for now. Heading next to the load summation of the array, 
We have 10 dB access at around 90 Hz. We address it by the zoom factor settings, setting it on 90 Hz with minus 3 dB and check. It's not enough, we'll go for minus 6 dB and check again. That's better. Now it's more obvious that we are missing 2 dB energy around 1K. Let's head back to the EQ tab and add a second filter. Confirm the change and save the new general trace. Now we go a step deeper and use the FIR filter of the mid group, shaving off 2dB at 20k. Checking the change and saving as our target curve for the system.